Thanks for joining me on another episode of Cutting Up With Bay. Today we're going to make some barbecue ribs. We're going to make some deviled eggs, even some loaded baked beans. So stay tuned. We're going to start with the deviled eggs first. I want to get these prepared so that way they can sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour before I plate up my dish. So I boil my eggs. I'm now going to peel the shell off. And I'm only cooking about five or six eggs. I'm not gonna cook a whole carton. So you can double the recipe or triple the recipe and that should work for you. So I'm cutting these in half and I'm putting the yolks in a bowl. Now I'm just gonna smash these yolks. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of Chef Bay seasoning sauce. And if you don't have Chef Bay seasoning salt, you can use salt and pepper for this recipe, but I strongly recommend that you grab some, and you can do so by clicking the link in the description box below or going to my website, cuttingupwithbay.com. So as you can see, we threw in a few more items. We threw in some mustard, we threw in some mayo, we threw in some sweet relish also. Now when you go to the grocery store, make sure you're paying attention to what type of relish you get. Because if you don't get sweet relish, then your double eggs may not come out tasting the same. Now that I've mixed this up, I'm going to put this into a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna cut the tip off. Now people make devil eggs so many different types of ways. So it's okay if you want to add something to this, if you want to take away something from the recipe. I personally don't mind. Um, sometimes I like to add shrimp. Um, I've heard people adding sugar, people add hot sauce, people add all type of stuff and that's okay if you decide that you want to add something or omit something. So I filled these eggs up and I'm gonna garnish the top with a little bit of Chef Bay smoked paprika. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of paprika. I don't like being heavy handed with it. It personally irks my nerves when I see someone dump a whole thing full of paprika on the eggs. A little bit goes a long way. Okay, here I have these pork spare ribs, St. Louis style, and I got these from Kroger. And if you like, you can also use baby back ribs as well. Regardless, we're going to take the membrane off the back of the rib. This can be tough, as you can see, but you do wanna remove it because ultimately it's chewy, it's tasteless, it's tough, and you really don't want it. So, we're going to hit this rib with a little bit of Chef Bay seasoning salt. And we're going to be liberal. And thank God my seasoning is not extra salty and, you know, high in sodium. So, you don't have to worry about it, you know, just really being salty. Now, we also have some of my Chef Bay's rib rub. And we're going to rub that in as well. Now you can let your rib marinate for an hour or all the way to overnight if you want to, but I'm impatient. So I let this cool or marinate for about 45 minutes and I throw it on the grill. And while my rib is cooking on the grill, I'm gonna start on my baked beans. Baked beans is another one of those recipes where every family has their own kind of recipe, but it all comes out the same. And these loaded baked beans are amazing. They have bacon in it. It has all type of delicious flavors that will enhance this regular can of beans. Now I'm gonna actually use two cans of beans for this along with some mustard. I'm gonna throw in some diced green bell pepper. I'm also gonna to toss in some red onion. You can use white onion or yellow onion if you have it, but we're gonna use red for this recipe. 
I'm going to add some barbecue sauce. I personally like Sweet Baby Ray's, but if you prefer a different brand, go for it. So I have my ground beef that I just cooked and I drained the fat off of it. Now I also baked some bacon, so I crumbled that up and I threw that in as well. I'm also gonna throw in some brown sugar, a little bit of maple syrup. And I'm gonna add one more ingredient, but I'm not gonna add it right now. I'm gonna wait till it's on the grill and you guys will see that in a few moments. So now that I have all of my ingredients in here, I'm just gonna mix everything up thoroughly. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab me some aluminum foil as well so I can cover this up and I can get ready to put these bad boys on the grill and let them do what it do. Now, if you guys have not hit that like button or that subscribe button, I need you guys to go ahead and light them buttons up for me. Go ahead and smash that like button. And I'm just going to check on my rib. I'm going to check on my baked beans. And so far, everything is looking really, really good. But it's even smelling a million times better. So I throw in just a little bit of butter and that's going to be everything I need to make the best loaded baked beans ever. I also put all the information in the description box below, all the recipe details, so make sure you guys check that out. So now it's time to take our ribs off the grill. It's time to take our beans off the grill and now it's time to make some magic happen. So I'm gonna cut this rib into pieces now, here's the deal with me and my husband. Sometimes the ribs are so freaking good, we don't even use barbecue sauce. But every once in a while, we might want a bone or two with some barbecue sauce. So I just cut up half the rib with no barbecue sauce. And the other half of the rib, I did put barbecue sauce on. And tell me this does not look so delicious. So now our baked beans are piping hot. They're smelling so delicious. They're looking even better. And I have these collard greens that I just made. I have my mac and cheese that I just made. And now we're going to add just a little bit more because you can never have too much, right? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add our baked beans. And excuse the mac and cheese, the greens and the mac and cheese were actually sitting for like the last about 45 minutes to an hour. So the mac and cheese is starting to cool off. So that's some potato salad that I made. And we're going to add some ribs onto this. And you cannot forget your deviled eggs. So I have two ribs here with some sauce on it, one rib without, and we're gonna hit these collard greens with just a little bit of hot sauce because what are collard greens without hot sauce, right? <laughs> so I made a second plate for my little boo thing and I hope he enjoys it as much as I will. This was just a quick little get together barbecue for just me and the hubby. We always got to make up some stuff and, you know, make up events to just keep stuff fun and spicy. So here you have it. Some barbecue ribs. We have some loaded baked beans. We have potato salad, collard greens, um, devil eggs, and just a bunch of laughs and a bunch of love and just good times and I hope you guys are having a good day and I'm hoping that I can transfer some of that positivity and some of that energy and some of that light into you guys' day. So thank you guys for the support and I hope you have a good one. Until next time, peace out you guys. Bye.